Hello everyone, welcome back to Scented Moments channel. I'm Jolima and today I will do a review of a fragrance from the house of Chanel and the fragrance is Egoist. This classic right here, created and released back in 1990 and the nose behind this beautiful masculine fragrance is Jacques Polge. It was back then the in-house perfumer of Chanel. Um, this fragrance, it's outstanding. I recently uh, add, added this fragrance to my collection and it's so beautiful. I don't know how come and why it took me so long to add this beautiful, masculine, sophisticated, mature fragrance. It took me so long to add this one to my collection, but finally I have it here featured on my top 10 best winter fragrances and quite honestly this is for me one of the best winter signature scents chanel egoist it's outstanding but before i talk about more of this beautiful scent i will read you the official notes of egoist so in the top you have coriander mahogany mandarin and rosewood in the heart you have carnation, rose and cinnamon and in the base you have amber, leather, sandalwood, tobacco and vanilla. So upon initial spray I get this blast of a fresh aromatic spicy scent. Uh, it's like a lavender-ish accord right in the opening with this peppery cinnamony feel. It's outstanding but I think and in my opinion, the opening is the most challenging part of this fragrance, so that's why a lot of people hate this one. This is a love or hate type of scent, because either you will love it right in the opening or you will hate it, because it's quite challenging. That fresh, aromatic, spicy, it has a very sharp, spicy uh, nuance right in the opening, this pepperiness in it, uh, it which can be a bit challenging first. But if you can, if you enjoy that opening, and even if you are turned off by that, please wait a bit because this will change and still keep changing. This is quite complex. This then will develop into this carnation cinnamony scent. It will be more smoother, and then you have the sandalwood. The sandalwood, this woody, creamy sandalwood in the bass starts to be the most prominent note after the you pass the, the heart notes. It's outstanding. I don't get any vanilla leather um, or even rose, quite honestly. I get a very prominent note in the, in the heart of this carnation. It's the same type of carnation note that you will smell and you will find in 1888 by, um, by Sergioff in their Casa Morati line which I absolutely love. Love that one, one of the best gentleman type of scents, just like Egoist. Egoist, it's a perfect spicy, slightly floral, aromatic and woody scent. Yes, sandalwood is the most prominent note from the heart until the dry down, um, but it's you have much more things going on here. You have this carnation nuance, cinnamon, pepper, you have this fresh lavender-ish in the opening and it's to die for. This is quite mature, yes, but this it's outstanding the way it develops and turns, at least on my skin, this blends beautifully. Love it. Uh, this is quite mature, this is not for the young youngsters out there who are just uh, wanting, you are searching for sweet fragrances, no. This has a sweet, slightly sweetness in it with the floral nuances, but um, this is not sweet. It's, I don't consider this as a sweet fragrance. This is mature, this is more formal fragrance, although I consider it to be very versatile. Yes, this is in terms of seasons. I just feel myself wearing this one during the fall and winter time. And, but during the, the, those periods, you can wear this in the office, you can wear this in formal events, night out situations, even during date night occasions. Um, but go easy on the trigger because the projection, it's loud. Although then it sets close to your skin and creates a nice central around you, but the first hour can be challenging to other people because 
of the spicy nuances again. But this is the perfect signature scent for the colder days. In my opinion, that's why I love Egoist. This is a timeless, classic fragrance. Love this one. And guys, hope you enjoy my review of Egoist. I love this one. Tell me in the comments down below what you think of Egoist by Chanel. I think this starts to be a sleeper amongst the, in the fragrance community. Uh, although I know there's a cult, a cult following of this fragrance and this fragrance deserves all the attention. Egoist by Chanel. Guys, tell me in the comments down below what you think of Chanel Egoist. What do you think of my review? And of course, see you in the next video. Take care, guys. Ciao.